Hi, I'm Marta Belcher. I am the chair and president of the Filecoin Foundation and the Filecoin Foundation for the Decentralized Web. And I am absolutely delighted to be here at Phil Singapore to give you some updates about what the Filecoin Foundation has been up to. From the beginning, Filecoin was envisioned to have It is for you to spot where Marta is. Hi, is I'm Marta Belcher. I am the chair and president of the Filecoin Foundation and the Filecoin Foundation for the Decentralized Web. And I am absolutely delighted to be here at Phil Singapore to give you some updates about what the Filecoin Foundation has been up to. From the beginning, Filecoin was envisioned to have a governance body called the Filecoin Foundation that would be modeled on the Mozilla Foundation, the Linux Foundation, and other open source foundations. The idea is for the Filecoin Foundation to be the steward of the open source governance for the Filecoin network, as well as to build the Filecoin ecosystem and community. And that is exactly what we're doing at Filecoin Foundation. In addition to that, we have created the Filecoin Foundation for the Decentralized Web, which is our sister organization, which is about building the entire decentralized web community, not just Filecoin, but the entire ecosystem that Filecoin is really enabling by building the next generation of the web. We have an absolutely world-class group of board members on the boards of the Filecoin Foundation and the Filecoin Foundation for the Decentralized Web. On the Filecoin Foundation board, I am honored to chair the board uh, and also serve with Brian Balendorf, who is uh, one of the creators of Apache and has been at the Mozilla Foundation, the Linux Foundation, and the Hyperledger project. I'm also delighted to serve on the Filecoin Foundation board with Marsha Hoffman, an electronic privacy attorney, as well as Nicole Wong, who served as the, as the deputy CTO of the White House under Barack Obama. For the Filecoin Foundation for the Decentralized Web, I am delighted to be on that board along with Brian, as well as Kristen Smith, who's the Executive Director of the Blockchain Association, uh, and also Rainy Reitman, who is a civil liberties advocate. We have an absolutely phenomenal group of advisors on our board of advisors, from Joe Lubin, the co-founder of Ethereum, to Brewster Kale, the founder of the Internet Archive, all the way to Sheila Warren, who is the CEO of the Crypto Council for Innovation. We also have Wendy Hanamura from the Internet Archive. We have Veronica McGregor, Katie Biber, Georgia Quinn, important lawyers and policymakers in the space. Uh, we also have Kurt Opsahl from the Electronic Frontier Foundation and Sandra Rowe, who is the CEO of the Global Blockchain Business Council. We are so delighted to have this phenomenal group of people serving on our advisory board at the Filecoin Foundation. We're of course here at Phil Singapore, which uh, the Filecoin Foundation helped to organize. And the Filecoin Foundation also hosts a variety of different events for the Filecoin ecosystem. You can see on this slide uh, scenes from Phil Austin, also from South by Southwest, where we hosted a space, and the decentralized web camp. DWeb Camp, hosted by the Internet Archive that was sponsored by Filecoin Foundation. Uh, we really love to host events to bring the Filecoin community together. And we, of course, have upcoming Phil Lisbon, uh, which will be in uh, end of October and early November. We hope to see you all there. Of course, our mandate at the Filecoin Foundation is to grow and empower the Filecoin ecosystem. Uh, so one of the ways we do that is, of course, grants to developers who are building on top of Filecoin. This year, we've given grants to more than 350 teams. We've also hosted more than 30 hackathons, and we are on track to have more than 100 graduates from our accelerators. So that's a big part of what we're doing uh, to grow and empower developers who are building on our technology. So just to give you some examples of the fantastic projects that are building on top of Filecoin, we have Slate, which is just like Dropbox, except on top of the Filecoin network. Uh, we have Numbers, which is a decentralized photo network that guards against content tampering and helps to authenticate photos. And we have Secured Finance, which is a interbank grade financial transaction platform. So the way that we are measuring our success is by the success of the network and how the network is growing. And it has been incredible to see how the network has grown um, over the past year. Uh, we actually represent now 1% of storage capacity globally. The Filecoin network represents 1% of global storage capacity, which is mind boggling. And we also have just an incredible amount of storage capacity when you think about that in terms of how much data could be stored. So 
If you think about what 18 exabytes actually means, what 18 exabyte actually means is you could store all the written works of humanity in every language from the beginning of recorded history to today many times over on the Filecoin network. And that's how much storage capacity we have. Um, so we're really measuring ourselves by how much storage capacity there is on the network, how many storage providers are on the network, um, more than 4,000 storage providers, and also how much storage is being utilized. Uh, a lot of that storage is being used by NFTs. And so it's amazing to see that more than 85 million NFTs are stored on our network. And the number of deals is exceeding is almost up to 7 million. Um, really phenomenal to see the growth of the network. And all of that growth is really thanks to our storage providers. Uh, so one of the big missions of the Filecoin Foundation is to really support the storage provider community. Uh, so what we do is we have organized a bunch of storage provider working groups in different regions across the globe. And we've organized various storage provider meetups to bring storage providers together. We also have the storage provider accelerator, which helps to get storage providers onto the network and really get them up and running. So what is all that storage capacity being used for? Uh, well, our mission is really to preserve humanity's most important information. And in fact, the Filecoin network is being used to store humanity's most important information. Just to give you some examples, the Starling Lab is a project of Stanford and the USC Shoah Foundation, which is working to preserve critical data sets on the Filecoin network. One example of that is the 55,000 videos of genocide survivor testimony that's being stored on the Filecoin network through the Starling Lab. And the Starling Lab is also storing evidence of war crimes in Ukraine on the Filecoin network so that it can be preserved and authenticated. Uh, and these are just a few examples of the absolutely critical data sets that are being stored on Filecoin. One of our key partners for bringing these important data sets onto the network is the Internet Archive. The Internet Archive, of course, is the organization that brought you the Wayback Machine, which archives the web, and also archives many other important data sets, um, some of which are being stored on the Filecoin network in order to ensure that they are permanently preserved on the decentralized web. Another example of the important data that's being stored on the Filecoin network thanks to a partnership with the Filecoin Foundation is the Guardian Project, which is using Filecoin and IPFS in building decentralized tools for advocacy organizations, uh, activists, human rights defenders, and journalists. FFDW has also partnered with Muckrock. And Muckrock is building decentralized solutions for its document cloud system. And that document cloud system is used to host more than 8 million important pieces of data and information for journalists. And Muckrock, as part of this partnership, is also storing important data sets on Filecoin and IPFS. We also recently announced a very exciting partnership with Harvard's Library Innovation Lab. So we're actually working with Harvard to fight link rot. Link rot is this idea that when you're using centralized technologies, you go to a link and that link points you to a particular place on a particular server. And that content may or may not still be there. Or in fact, it might have been changed. Um, and so you have this problem where, let's say you have a Supreme Court decision and it actually includes a link in the decision. If you go to that link 10 years later, most of the time, that link is actually not going to be active anymore, which is a huge problem. So we've partnered with Harvard's Library Innovation Lab to, to figure out how we can use IPFS um, and content addressing to fight the link rot problem. And we're also looking at how we can use these decentralized technologies uh, in a broader way to make sure that we're preserving information into the future. So this is another important partnership recently announced between Filecoin Foundation and Harvard. Governments are also storing their data sets on the Filecoin network. One example is that the city of New York's public data sets are now stored on the Filecoin network thanks to a partnership with the Filecoin Foundation. Uh, and Filecoin Foundation has a initiative called the Public Data Commons Initiative to make sure that government data sets are being preserved into the future using the decentralized web and the Filecoin network in particular. And of course, a big part of our mission is to make sure that we are educating the public about Filecoin. Just one example of that is we recently hosted a CoRISE course to teach a group of students all about the Filecoin network and how to build on Filecoin and IPFS. That's just one example of the educational efforts of Filecoin Foundation and FFDW. 
Earlier this year, the Filecoin Foundation was so excited to announce that we are partnering with Lockheed Martin to bring IPFS to space. So IPFS, as you probably know, stands for the Interplanetary File System. And that is because IPFS, from the beginning, was envisioned as a way to do networking across long distances, such as in space. It turns out that today's centralized internet model just doesn't really work in space. The reason for that is, imagine you have data in a particular location on a particular server like you have on today's centralized internet. Well, if you're very far away from it, like say on the moon or on Mars or out in outer space, you're going to have to retrieve that data from that particular location every time. So there's going to be a delay of a couple of seconds if you're on the moon or a couple of minutes if you're on Mars every single time you retrieve that data. So that really just doesn't scale. Um, a much better way of doing things is to not look for data by a particular location, but rather to look for data by its content ID, as you would with IPFS, and basically to retrieve that data from wherever is closest to you. Um, so maybe there's a satellite going by that has that data, or maybe you already retrieved that data, uh, or maybe some other piece of hardware near you has that data. That just makes a lot more sense and really scales in outer space in a way that today's centralized internet model doesn't. And so we are partnering with Lockheed Martin to bring IPFS to space and to really showcase how IPFS can be part of the infrastructure for the space economy. Of course, we are also interested in what's going on here on Earth as well. So Filecoin Foundation is supporting Filecoin Green, which is a project to make the Filecoin blockchain verifiably carbon neutral, and also to use that technology to make other blockchains verifiably carbon neutral as well. Filecoin Foundation is also the steward of the Filecoin Plus program, which works to incentivize useful storage on the Filecoin network. And we've really seen those incentives work. So there have been more than 150 petabytes of Filecoin Plus data uploaded to the Filecoin network to date. And that is all useful, verified data, verified by the Filecoin Plus program. And of course, the Filecoin Foundation is the steward of governance for the Filecoin network. And so we are facilitating network governance through a process called FIPS, Filecoin Improvement Proposals. Uh, more than 30 FIPS have been stewarded through so far uh, that have been accepted. We've also recently introduced, in addition to FIPS, Filecoin Requests for Comment. So for you, our community members, how can you get involved? Well, one big way is to apply for a grant, to build on top of the Filecoin network, to host events related to the Filecoin network, or to just explore the decentralized web. We have all sorts of grants programs that you can check out on phil.org. It has been almost two years since Filecoin network launch, and we at Filecoin Foundation and FFDW feel like we are just getting started. We are absolutely honored to be the stewards of the Filecoin community and delighted to be with you here at Phil Singapore.